Okay then guys, we are back inside of Helldivers 2, and as of tomorrow, we're back on normal schedule with two uploads a day, one in the morning, one in the evening, so we can dive on into that, and I'm really freaking excited to get back on target. It's been a nice week of holiday, but nonetheless, it's time to get back to the graft. So today, we've got loads to talk about, including a really big issue and a glitch inside of Helldivers 2 that the Helldivers Twitter page has recently just announced, as well as a funny tweet coming from them as well. A disappointing factor inside of the game, which I didn't ever think about, but now that I know it doesn't work, I'm gutted. And we've got some other Reddit posts as well coming up from the Factory Striders causing an issue on a defense mission. This one is a big one. But nonetheless, we are going to dive on into it. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. On top of that, check out our sponsor for today's video, Instant Gaming, the number one platform for all of your favorite games on Steam, Origin, Battle.net, Uplay, and indie games on the PlayStation, Xbox, and Switch, all up to 70% off. They're completely digital games and instant delivery 24-7. Don't panic, it's completely safe and legal as they bulk purchase from the developers and sell to you guys at a cheaper price. Therefore, everyone wins. Link in the description to go and get your games a little bit cheaper today. So, starting off, we have got loads of things diving in and some stuff that you guys are not going to like. So, starting off with the Helldivers tweet that is going to impact the current major order. And to be fair, I don't think it really makes much of a difference because we're one out of ten. So, we're not getting any freaking closer. We are three days left, I believe, into the major order. And we have just got absolutely no hope of being able to solidify this one. But it states right here, Helldivers, our galactic war systems are suffering a minor outage after the destruction of a long-range array of Vernon Wells. During this time, your liberation efforts may not be tracked and progress not may not display properly. Our teams are looking into the issue as we speak. There was also some announcements made on the Helldivers Discord, which pretty much aligned into the same sort of thing. And that's absolutely fine. As far as I'm aware, the progress is going to corroborate exactly how it should be. So come the point where it kicks back in and they manage to get it working, it should just bump us straight up to where we need to be. But at the moment, what it means is, is no matter what app you're using, Helldivers.io and or otherwise, we're not going to know if the defense is actually working. So we just need to keep fighting the good fight and hope that we manage to do something very, very soon. Second up, though, we had a tweet that went out by the Helldivers page saying, Patriots have asked whether Terminators or Automatons are a bigger threat to managed democracy. The answer is simple. Yes. And this gained nearly 20,000 likes on Twitter, which is absolutely hilarious, and I absolutely love it. But yes, it's vague as hell. I don't know what the hell it's for, because realistically, these tweets always collaborate to something. The Helldivers page doesn't normally tweet out about certain situations or anything like that, for the most part, unless there's something behind it. So if any of you guys have read it and can read the deeper meaning behind it, then let me know via the comment section below. I feel like a lot of this stuff is all cryptic, and it's always a basis of us not really knowing exactly what they're talking about, but there is going to be something coming to the scene soon, because that's just how these guys are Arrowhead actually work. Now, before we get into the next topic, though, we have got a giveaway going on, and we're announcing the winner of the previous one after this video goes live in the community page and the Discord announcement page for the giveaways. So that'll be where it goes this time next week. But this video right here is the start of a new giveaway. So very, very simply, all you have to do is head down to the comment section down below and put in a red heart. A very simple red heart will enter you in, and we'll announce it next weekend as to who it is that's won the giveaway for a copy of Helldivers two or if you've already got the game it'll be for the super credits in money equivalent thank you so much again for watching guys let's dive on into the next topic at hand We've got so much to talk about. Nonetheless, though, something that is disappointing and something I didn't expect to be the case. Now, I've obviously never tried it and I never felt the need to try it. Although, when I think about it, how I've never wanted to try it is absolutely beyond me. But, as you can see right here, we have got the, the propane canisters. The gas canisters that you guys can explode. Well, unfortunately, you cannot drop these into a bug hole. As to why... I'm not too sure these things will weigh an absolute ton in real life. They are obviously made out of solid metal and will have gas inside of them. And I don't know if you've ever tried to move a gas canister, but it's not the lightest thing on the planet. You should be able to just drop this thing in and gravity take its course, no matter how hot or heavy that steam actually is coming out from top of it. So, yeah. Don't bother trying to do it, because apparently it doesn't bloody work. It makes no idea. 
absolutely no idea. But there is something else that is absolutely baffling and it kind of goes with the logic of life in general, but this should not work on an overall basis. We've got right here that apparently factory striders can destroy the objectives during a base defense mission without actually storming the gates. Yeah, you heard me correctly, which actually makes no freaking sense at all because you have got absolutely no time at all to be able to take these things out. But it says here we were at difficulty seven doing a protection of high value assets against bots playing at helms deep everything's going great not too easy not too overwhelming berserker squads under the cover of tanks and hulks slowly pushing through our defenses but it's already six rockets out of eight and we're still in the inner courtyard didn't even fall back to the keep and then suddenly large red objective failed and a pelican is on its way to deliver us to safety to the closest freedom camp clueless i run into the keep to find both generators destroyed as pelican is landing i'm running around frantically to understand who did this and then just across the landing zone i see this four-legged a-hole grinning at me from across the walls and sending laser salvos in my general direction apparently a factory strider has arrived in one of the drop airships and instead of moving with the rest of the regiment it just walked a couple of steps to the wall slightly tilted its head and destroyed our base's heart this walking fabricator is tall enough to just ignore the fact the base was placed on a mountain and guarded with walls there goes our operation so that's that for the hell divers who are ignorant as me keep an eye out for four-legged bees holding the gates won't save you from them the base is actually vulnerable from all directions it's not a tower defense this is baffling now i understand the concept of it and yes size does always matter don't let anybody tell you different but this is a little bit of a pain in the rear end because i don't really understand how you're supposed to stop that one quick enough they do target the obj before they target most other things so if they are just going to be walking past and taking straight over the wall and being able to hit that dimension straight away you've got to be taking out those factory striders within seconds of them actually spawning this isn't overly logical but it does mean that one person has to kind of stay back and be able to keep an eye on those factors which means that for that person the gameplay is going to be pretty damn dull if people are managing to hold the fight off on the bottom gates this for me is not something that works on a logical basis now yes as far as scientific basis go it works exactly how it would in real life but as far as it goes in a game a tower defense it doesn't really operate that way let's be bloody real it shouldn't be working on that basis and if they should be spawned and they should be spawning on the far side from nowhere near the obj therefore not causing these issues at hand that's just my personal opinion on it but i want to know what your guys are in the comment section below i think it will make for some boring gameplay for some players or it means that you have to force back into the main base to hold the line at a later point and allow things to come on in to the actual base point and be fighting from the final zone it makes absolutely no sense to me at all or maybe i'm just misreading it and not understanding the concept but you guys need to let me know in the comment section what your opinions are on this and what your experiences are on this because i personally haven't gone in to an automaton defense mission with the factory striders just yet that's just me i can't really give too much of an opinion but this is what these videos are for to spring off some conversations in the comment sections below this is a really, really sucky one. I actually can't believe it. I've reread it two or three times now because I don't understand the concept. But yeah, let me know in the comment section your opinion and we can dive onto it. So unfortunately, that is all we've got time for today, though. That was just a quick burst one and hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. We're going to be back tomorrow morning and we're going to be streaming tomorrow daytime. That's right, you heard me. The link to the Twitch channel is down in the description. Be sure to go over and drop it a follow. We'll be going live around 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon uk time so it's definitely worth not missing thank you so much again for watching guys if you haven't already like subscribe and as always i'll see you in the clouds